Hey guys, it's Daily Tactics here, and one of the biggest questions I get is how to install the Men of War Assault Squad 2 Galaxy at War mod. So, we're just going to get right on into this tutorial, not waste any time. First thing you're going to want to do is open up your browser, and type in the search bar, uh, Men of War Star Wars mod, or Star Wars Galaxy at War mod, anything like that. Um, and you will want to click the first thing that comes up. It should say Star Wars Galaxy at War mod for Men of War Assault Squad 2. I will also put a link to this in the description if you don't want to search it. Okay, so it brings you to this page. You're going to want to scroll all the way down until you reach this section called Files. Now, you're going to want to click on this link, AS2 version 3.260, or whatever the latest version is. Uh, this should be the latest. It was released two years ago, but I heard they're releasing a new version soon. It should work the exact same way, um, so don't worry about it. So just click on this. Uh, Discord spam, don't worry about that. Brings you to this page. Click this big red Download Now button. Um, and it should bring this open, and eventually it'll start the download automatically. If it doesn't, just click this button here, uh, and it should bring up the download down here. It's four gigabytes. It's going to take some time to download, um, so, you know, pause the video right now, get it downloaded. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel this. Okay, so once you've got it downloaded, go to your desktop, drag and drop it there. Here's my file right here. Um, you're going to want to get WinRAR, it is a free program, uh, so install that. I'll put a link to WinRAR in the uh, description below as well. Um, basically, it just allows you to open up .rar files, unzip them, all that good stuff. So you're going to need that as well. So, have this on your desktop, and then you're going to want to go into your files. Um, you're going to want to go to this PC... And wherever you have Steam installed and the game installed, Men of War Assault Squad 2, is where you're going to want to go. So I have it on my 2 terabyte uh, storage. Just click on whatever hard drive you have Steam installed on. Um, if you don't know, most likely you only have one storage space anyway. Uh, so just cl click on the, the little thing with the blue bar that tells you how much storage is available. Mine's in my 2 terabyte storage. So then you're going to want to go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common... Men of War Assault Squad 2. Um, now, you should have a mods folder here. Um, if you do not, do not worry. It is okay. Just go ahead and right click. Go to. Um, oh, I didn't right click on the folder. There we go. Um, wait, what? Why isn't this working? Wait. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so right click, go to new, and just create a folder and name it mods. M O D S. That's it, you'll be fine after that. So, click on your mods folder, whether it's old or new, and here's where all your Men of War mods are. Uh, you are now going to want to go into the file we just installed, open it up with WinRAR. This message will appear, ignore it, it's fine, you don't have to buy WinRAR, it'll still work. Um, people have been doing this for years, it's kind of a meme nowadays that WinRAR, you don't really have to have a license. Okay, and you should have this mod folder here, Star Wars Galaxy at War.3, or whatever version it is. Literally, all you have to do is drag and drop it into the mods folder like this. Um, I've already got it in there, so I'm not going to do this, but a little progress bar should appear. It's 4 gigabytes again, so it might take a little bit of time to get it in there, uh, but you're just going to want to simply drag and drop it, drop it in. Okay, with that done, you can exit out of all this, go into Steam, go to Library Installed, oh, that's favorites, Installed, uh, find Men of War Assault Squad 2, and you're going to want to launch it. So, launch Men of War Assault Squad 2, the standard game. Um, I'll be right back as soon as it's launched. Oh, it's actually going pretty fast. Sometimes it takes a while to launch Men of War. Okay, now, once you're in the game, go to Options. And uh, this Options panel can be a little laggy, so just be patient. Go to Mods. You're going to want to scroll down until you find Star Wars Galaxy at War.3. Click the little arrow like I did right then. To activate it and you can deactivate it like that so just go like this if you want to deactivate it click the arrow again um, you can do that then once it's in your activated file click apply and you, you just wait a little bit this might take some time and there you go the mod is all loaded up now and ready to roll there are a few single player missions you can click uh, select mission scroll down um, they should all be in French here. A lot of them are broken or don't work right now. Um, 
with this version of the mod. I don't know if they'll work for you. Uh, I think there is a little bit of multiplayer available. You just click multiplayer, go to internet, and you can uh, load up a game or whatever. Um, the mod might be in French for you. Don't worry about it. If it is, it's not really a problem. Mine's actually crashed, I think. Might have crashed. Um, if it crashes, it's pretty common with this mod. Just go into Control-Alt-D and Task. That's fine. Okay, now I'm going to teach you guys how to uh, get the editor working. All right, is it working now? Okay, there we go. Um, this is pretty much where you want to go for the Star Wars mod if you want to use it in any cool capacity because there's not a lot of single player or multiplayer available for it right now. So you're going to want to go back to Steam, go to Man of War Assault Squad 2, right click, click Editor, and uh, this will bring up the Man of War Editor. Uh, if you want a tutorial on how to use the editor, you can go ahead on Daily Gaming and look for it. It's got like actually a lot of views now. Um, people have said it's pretty good. Um, I don't know if I can attest to that, but uh, it's it's pretty helpful for editor basics. So you go into here, you can press escape, load up whatever map you want. Um, I've got some custom maps loaded up on here already. Um, but let's just say we open up Nebu. That's a simple one. You open that up and it's just loading. Give it some time, you know. There we go. We're on Nebu now. Uh, then over here, if you press F2, you can uh, bring in some some humans, Star Wars, you know, you can get some ATST drivers in here, Imperial officers, stormtroopers, you know, just have fun, make a battle, things like that. F6 opens up the skybox. Uh, this isn't really an editor tutorial, though. I have one of those on my old channel, so check that out if you want, but um, yeah, you know, have some fun with the mod. That's the basics of how to install it. If you have any problems, comment them down below and I'll do my best to uh, answer them. Hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful. Comment and subscribe if you did. Check out my Discord, links in the description. Uh, I can also help you with problems there if I don't respond to the comments. Uh, also, you can check me out on Overtone. I have an Overtone team. Or Instagram or whatever. Uh, yeah, hope this helps some people. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.